This is a really interesting practical, but it's actually just about evaluating the way in which measurements have been taken. You're asked to evaluate how accurate they can be. So what ways would improve the accuracy? And I suggest if you're asked to evaluate the method, that means point out things that are right or wrong, and then you're asked to suggest improvements, try and think in pairs. Here's a thing that's wrong, here's an improvement. So this one um, is a really interesting practical. We actually did this after sitting this as a practice exam and it worked really quite well, although we were in we were in 10 to the 3 order of magnitude out for the actual diameter of a oil molecule. But it's a really interesting idea. You said, I'll let you read, pause the video and read if you like. But essentially, you're just dropping an oil drop onto this brimmed off tray of water with lycopodium, which is like dried pollen powder. And immediately, very very rapidly, as long as you've got it brimmed off, the um, oil spreads out into like this disc. And what we're saying is this disc has a volume equal to the volume of the little drop of oil that you dropped in there. So we can measure its diameter, hence work out its area, and therefore we can work out its thickness, its width, which is equal to the width of one molecule of the oil. So that's what we're aiming for there. Okay, so you really do need to read that and think more carefully about understanding that method before you go anywhere with this one. If you look at this, this, this is going to give you the clue, and maybe it's, be it's better to actually read what you have to do before you read this. Okay, and make sure you do understand this. It's not a quality of written communication one. They're not looking for nice, neat, well-planned answers, but it's, worth, it's six markers, so it's worth thinking about what you're going to write to give you that time to improve it. Okay, so um, what we have to do is we have to evaluate the student's method and suggest refinements. Right, so there's six possible marks. So I suggest you're looking for three things that are wrong with the method and three things that you could improve. Why not good things about the student's method? Well, uh, you know, I take that as being evaluated, and yes, it could be, but because they've told you to suggest refinements, that to me suggests they want pairs of things. So let's look through and think of three things that are wrong, okay, or not as good as they could be. Okay, the first one I think is this diameter of an oil drop. We're using a very, very small um, oil drop. It doesn't actually tell you, it does tell you how big it is, there it is, and it tells you that they're measuring that with a meter rule. Is that right? Use a meter rule to measure this. So that's um, an issue there, isn't it? Okay, um, and then they're going to use that reading to work out the volume of the oil drop. And then they're going to equate that to the volume of the feet, the, the um, disc there. Okay, so they're going to actually do that, use that to work out the volume. So if we've got an error there, we're probably going to have an error in this one as well. And then lastly, how are they going to do that? Measure the diameter of the circular film, thin film. This is the reading they got there. This could be an issue as well. So my little plan then, even though it's not a um, written communication one, is we'll talk about the diameter of the oil drop, then talk about how we're working out the volume of the oil drop, and then talk about the diameter of the thin film. Okay, so firstly, the diameter of the oil drop. Notice the diameter of the oil drop is half a millimetre and the scale division on a metre ruler is a millimetre. So that is not a very accurate way to do it. There is a really large uncertainty compared to the measurement. There's a large percentage uncertainty. Think about percentage uncertainties a lot in this exam because it's the first time this new thing in this syllabus they're going to be looking to examine your understanding of measurements causing large percentage uncertainties, which is the big thing we want to eliminate. Okay, why is that? Because the diameter is roughly half a scale division. There's no way I can accurately measure something with half a millimeter diameter with a millimeter scale. They could use a larger oil drop or a vernier scale. Difficult to use a micrometer something with a higher precision is the point okay next thing i'm going to talk about well they've used that diameter to calculate the volume of the oil drop okay as the volume of the oil drop is calculated by 
four thirds pi r cubed, the volume of the oil drop is three times the percentage uncertainty of the diameter. So larger drop for vernier scale would reduce this. It's the same point, I know, but there's a mark for that um, here. And then the last one, what about the diameter of the thin film? Well, they haven't told us much detail about how they're going to do that, but how should you do it? Well, because it's not an even diameter all around, you should take several different diameters, okay, and calculate an average. So the diameter of the disc of oil varies, i.e. it's not a perfect circle. So take multiple readings across different diameters, and importantly, calculate an average. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Well, you can probably guess where the marks are. They are for um, large percentage uncertainty because the diameter is in the half scale division. Um, volume of the oil drop is calculated for this. So the volume, so the volume of the oil drop has three times the percentage uncertainty of the diameter. So use a large drop or a vernier scale. Diameter of the disc is different for all different uh, ways across it. Remember this one, they like this one a lot. So take multiple readings across different diameters and calculate an average or a mean. Okay, I hope that one makes sense. It wasn't a quality communication, but thinking about it, planning out, allowed me the time to actually plan my level of detail. Got the time to do that, so don't worry. So hopefully you can see how a bit of close reading, a bit of analytical reading can lead you to a bit of a plan and kind of guesswork on what is actually going to be on that mark scheme based on what they've been telling you.